everybody, welcome back to The Vanity Case. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Here we are in the midst of lockdown 2.0. How are we all finding things? Um, I feel like this one might be a little bit harder than the first one because obviously we are going into winter and the evenings are longer and the days are shorter. Um, but I hope that you're all keeping yourselves adequately busy and entertained. Today, <laughs> I am really sharing my guilt with you quite honestly because I don't know about anybody else, but when it was announced that we were going into a lockdown, something came over me the week before lockdown, some form of primal instinct slash shopping demon. Um, I just seemed to buy so much stuff, which I think for me is a coping mechanism. <laughs> I was like, well, it's going to be really sad the next couple of weeks, so I'll just buy loads of stuff now that I can't wear for at least another month. Um, <sighs> you know what? It's done now. I can't return them. So <laughs> I thought I'd share the shopping guilt with you, aren't you lucky? Um, and I'm going to show you a few pieces that I bought literally in the week before lockdown. Um, so without further ado, I'm looking at this pile. Uh, let's get do not start drilling. Without further ado, I hope that the outside noise didn't... <laughs> I hope the outside noise isn't too disruptive. Okay, let's go. So, if you've watched my Style by Friends video that I posted a couple of weeks ago with my friend Lucinda, you will have seen this cream jumper that I bought from Zara a couple of weeks ago. I did just want to throw this in there anyway, even though I didn't buy this like a couple of days before lockdown, but I haven't shown it to you properly, and I absolutely love it. This was around £30 from Zara. I really think it's such a statement knitwear piece to have in my winter wardrobe. My dad said it gave off clown vibes, um, which I guess it does, but I see it as like maybe a Victorian clown. A Victorian clown who likes to keep warm in the winter months, you know? Nice dramatic collar. We love a staple collar, as you can tell. And hopefully I'll get a chance to wear this after lockdown. Um, but I feel like it's something that'll stay in my wardrobe for years to come. So I'm super happy with this one. So the next things I got are also from Zara and I ordered these online the week before lockdown. These are just a basic pair of white trainers. I did really want to add just a plain um, basic white trainer to my wardrobe because the only equivalent I have is my Balenciaga triple S's and they're too chunky and they're just too big especially if I'm just going to work and, and they're quite difficult to drive in because of the chunky sole. These I got in the sale for £19.99. Uh, like I said, I ordered these online and they fit really well. I really like the chunky sole and I really like the sole detailing here. And for 20 quid, I'm already getting a lot of decent wear out of them. Okay, so the next item is something, it's a bit of a wild card. Um, so I went into Birmingham literally the day before we went into lockdown. So I went in on a Wednesday, um, <laughs> which was pandemonium by the way. Um, I went into a shop in Birmingham called Blue Banana. I know that they have a couple of these scattered all over, especially in big cities. And they're also online as well. Um, and I picked up from the sale rail, this really super cool, like David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust inspired leather dress. Uh, I saw it on the sale rack and it was reduced to 10 pounds. And I thought for £10, I'm just gonna pick it up. If it's awful, then I can return it after lockdown. But I've tried it on and it's actually really cute. It's really flattering shape on me because it's A-line. So it comes in at the waist and then just skims over the hips, which is really, really flattering. I love this striking design on the front. I feel like with black tights and some little boots, it's gonna look super cute. I think I'd even layer this with a black turtleneck as well um, because it might be a bit chilly. <laughs> The actual brand is Jawbreaker, so if anybody's interested, um, it was one of those impulse buys. I saw it and I thought, for £10, I'll just pick it up. But it's different and yeah, I'm excited to wear it. I think there'll be an occasion that'll be perfect for. Okay, next I went to River Island and can I just say, I love everything in River Island at the moment. Um, this, however, I got from this sale. And I picked it up because it was the only one and I didn't want it to go. Uh, it is this beautiful black lace shirt. It's got amazing balloon sleeves with a little cuff detailing and a fab detailed collar on there as well. I can definitely see myself wearing this as an overshirt. Um, I have a couple of bustiers and basques which I feel like sometimes can be a bit much to wear out on their own. So I'm always looking for overshirts to kind of layer on top 
and I think this one is really cute, very gothic, but also really vintage and chic. So I'm definitely gonna be getting quite a lot of wear out of this one. This originally was 45 pounds, um, but it was reduced to 25, I believe. They also had it in a really nice, like off-white cream color, um, and I love that one, but I think for layering purposes, I will get more wear out of the black one. Okay, so this one's really exciting. If you are like me and you love H&M, then you will have definitely seen the H&M and Vampire's Wife collaboration that was released a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Um, so when I went into Birmingham the week before lockdown, um, I went in not expecting to see any of the collaboration left because it sold out literally, I think it was in the tw first 24 hours. Um, there were some amazing pieces on there. The cape is stunning. If you get chance and you like that kind of vintage gothic look, that collaboration was amazing and you can get a lot of the stuff on resale on Depop and eBay. But by some miracle, there was one of these velvet baby doll dresses that I found in the sale section. So somebody obviously had changed their mind and just chucked it wherever. Well, it's in my size. I just love a big sleeve and then it's tied in with these gorgeous cuffs at the wrist. So stunning and flattering. I've tried styling this a number of ways, but the way that I really like styling it is with a big gold chunky belt. <laughs> you know I love my belts. Uh, and this one is screaming for a bit of gold on there. It does have this massive bow detailing, but when you have it on, you can't actually see it. I kind of wish they'd done it in a contrasting fabric or contrasting color. Um, so I was thinking about layering possibly a collar over this, something like this even, um, but I'll have to play around with it and see. Uh, this does still have the tag on. Um, and it was $34.99, um, but I think for a dress of this quality, I think that's a fair price. It's also worth noting that when I went shopping at H&M, I also got my hands on this shirt that I'm wearing here. I saw this in the sale for eight pounds, and I was like, this is my lucky day. It is like a 2XL, um, because there was only one of them on the sale rack, because I think they were snatched up, but I kind of like the oversized look, and I've, I've kind of figured out a way I can style it tied with jeans, especially layered under jumpers. I think it's gonna look really pretty, and that is a perfect segue into my next item, and my final item I have to show you, which is this jumper, this Van Gogh jumper, which I got from the exhibition Van Gogh alive that I went to a couple of weeks ago. If you follow my Instagram, which is at the vanity case, I'll just do a cheeky plug there, then you will have seen that I went to the Hippodrome in Birmingham. I am a massive Van Gogh fan already. Um, so when I heard that the exhibition was coming to Birmingham, I knew that I had to go. I've actually already been to the original one, which is permanently in Paris. I think it's called the Atelier de Lumbre. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. I brought it to the UK and I thought I'm not gonna miss my chance to go and see it again. So I grabbed this from the souvenirs. This was 25 pounds and primarily the reason I bought it is because I knew instantly how much I would wear it. It's so versatile and especially when it's coming up in these winter months, you just wanna be cozy and we're in lockdown. So all I'm wearing is jumpers anyway, apart from when I film YouTube videos. It's also my favorite painting of his that's a self portrait. So that went in its favor as well. I think we're about done. <laughs> as always, thank you very much for watching and allowing me to share my shopping guilt with you. Um, even for me, this was a lot of stuff that I bought in a short amount of time, so please make me feel better about it. <laughs> I have a super duper exciting video coming up next. Um, it's taken me a lot longer to film than I thought it would. It is a DIY video, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. As always, I hope you are staying safe, staying sanitized, and wearing a mask. What is this, like, handography? I feel like that's gonna be my new outro. <laughs> Only until the pandemic's over, though. <laughs> If you would like to see more of my ugly mug, then you can see me rather frequently over on my Instagram at the vanity case. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Hit it.